Hello and welcome back to another Revit CAD clip. In this particular lesson, we're, we're going to use uh, Revit Structure 2008, um, but this could be applied to Revit Architecture 2008 or Revit MEP 2008 because we're talking about crop regions and annotation crop regions, which is typical, which is great with uh, all the Revit products because there's a, a, a a large amount of familiar ground when you're using these vertical applications. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've just opened up a model here in Revit structure and it, you know we could do this in either um, Revit product as I've said and I'm just going to go down to my level one and we've got you know some walls and windows and doors and some grid lines. I'm going to place some dimensions on here to start with. I'm going to put some dimensions which are annotation objects. I'm going to dimension the entire wall and I'm going to set an option of center lines and intersection grids and walls just so I can quickly get some dimensions in here. So I'm going to place some dimensions and I'm going to purposely kind of place them a little bit away. Okay. I can pick, you know, whatever I want and just to populate, I just want to get some dimensions. Not that I'm saying this is how you would dimension a building by any means. Um, oh, that's not a good one. Um, so then we've got those out there, and now we're going to talk about uh, the crop region. Now we've got some buttons down here, which is, you know, crop the view or don't crop the view. So the first thing is this one here do not crop the region or crop and, and then it's the opposite depending on which one you do we have this one over here which is show the crop region visually show or don't show it so this one here is graphically hides or shows the crop region but it doesn't turn it on or off this one actually activates the crop region and then if the little red line is there it means it's not cropping which means to click it means to crop the region which means that now you can grab this um, crop region and you can start to drag this down and you can you know crop your floor plan you know as you please kind of like a viewport type thing okay now as you go down and start to crop this you'll notice that um, this is something anyone who's been using Revit for a while knows this what you know has dealt with this the objects that um, the dimensions that are tied to the walls etc disappear if those objects are being cropped so if I take this crop region and I go down far enough to pass this line okay these dimensions will disappear but this guy stays because those two objects are still visible okay similarly if I grab this and I drag this down okay get past the wall and the dimensions stay because they're picking up those points there Okay, as you lose the points, the dimensions come and go. Okay, the problem, these guys down here works. Okay, then the problem is this guy here and these extra ones. And this has been a problem with Revit, and that's why we have our annotation crop region. So once again, this one turns the graphic of it off or on. Okay, still crops it. This one says whether it actually is cropping it or not. So you use the combination of the two, okay? And now we have an added buffer out here for annotation, meaning that even if the object is still being um, viewed in what is the model crop region, you have another field around here where you can drag that and make these guys disappear and then you can go on and continue working. And so what we have to do is we have to right click in this view, go to view properties, beautiful little button down here called annotation crop, turn it on, hit OK. And now when you hover over top of this, you will see another green. First, if you hover, you see a green line. OK, and if you click on it, what happens is you have this extra little buffer zone on the outside. OK, and that works in co in combination with this one which means that if if I take the green if I highlight it by clicking that if I take the green guy and I go in it works with the annotation objects the text and the mainly dimensions is one of the big ones but you'll notice it starts to activate and then you never see that it never gets plotted and then you can turn this on or off so clicking on here okay 
and having the ability to move your annotation um, crop region. Um, hitting escape disappears. I think that's pretty much it. Remember, right click, view properties, annotation crop region. And uh, hopefully that uh, helps you uh, clip your views and then when you drag them onto your sheets, everything uh, looks exactly the way you want it to.